since you've been in my kitchen and so um, I'm calling this my tone it up kitchen because truly it really is um, this is where a lot of the magic happens I guess you could say so um, anyways I wanted to um, talk to you about meal prep um, which I'm doing a little bit now and it's Saturday and then I will be doing a little bit um, tomorrow so I just wanted to get some of the uh, like the blueberry bars and stuff, I wanted to get them taken care of so that tomorrow I could take care of some of the salads, which um, I normally like to take care of those on Monday or Tuesday just because they wilt and they, you know, so um, just trying to keep everything fresh is a little bit of a challenge. But um, so right now what I'm doing is um, I'm actually unpacking all of the stuff that I bought. So I'm unpacking some of the stuff that I got today. Um, and Actually, I didn't get meal um, for in because I was grocery shopping, so right now I'm snacking on a very <laughs> large thing of berries, um, which will obviously be used later on this week. But um, there is one thing I want to talk to you ladies about because I watched a movie or a documentary the other day while I was running. Some of you have heard me talk about it, but it's called F.U. Fed Up, and it's basically about... Um, childhood obesity and obesity and how it's rising and um, also just about the big big markets like craft and um, you know different um, brand name foods and stuff that are slowly but surely killing us with sugar um, and it basically it basically warns you um, you know diet and exercise together are a perfect combination, but just exercise by itself won't do anything. Um, and like um, Karina and Katrina preach to us all the time, 80% of that is your diet. So um, one of the things that they had said that they do is when you see low fat items or um, you know low, low fat or fat free, in order to make those items taste good, because once you take the fat out of things, it just drains it of flavor. Well, once you took that out, then what would make those products taste good? And that ended up being sugar. They put sugar tenfold back into everything. Even if it says low fat, doesn't make doesn't make it low fat. It makes it low in fat, but high in sugar, which in return makes your fat. So, um, so I just kind of want to preach today on that. Um, checking your sugar content. Um, I was like even in um, Justin's almond butter it's a really great choice if you're eating with apples and carrots and stuff like that but the one thing that I did notice is this um, has three grams of fiber or three grams of sugar excuse me and um, like the Justin's um, chocolate had um, or like hazelnut had like seven or eight, nine grams of sugar in it. And I mean, once you get up over seven, you're getting a little, you're getting a little far-fetched. You're getting away from yourself. So my, um, my whole thought process is anything seven or above is one of those, try not to touch it. And everything seven and below is like, okay, you can incorporate that, but you don't want to eat, you know, five meals a day that has sugar over seven grams. You know, it's just, it's, unbelievably unhealthy and um, I don't know I just I just feel like the whole sugar um, concept when they were explaining that during the documentary kind of scared me I was like oh my god you know you, you think about things that you don't normally think about when it comes to sugar and where they hide it and all the different words they use for it so um, part of getting those abs in the kitchen is watching your sugar and watching um, you know, protein's good, sugar's bad, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so I just have some of my basic essentials. I have, you know, my 
kale. I like to buy kale. It's already been chopped. It's just easier that way for me um, than having to like take it off and all this kind of stuff. It's just ready to go. So um, yeah, but I have all my vegetables. I have my fruits. Um, I have like my core water. Um, so I'm I'm ready to go. I feel good for next week. I love free prepping, I guess you could say. It makes me feel better. But um, yeah, so that's kind of just what I wanted to preach on to you guys today is watching your sugar content in your food. Um, we're going into week three. <laughs> I mean, I have seen results. I have definitely seen some results. But to me, you know, I was having a thought process today was like, oh my gosh, we're going to week three. I don't see exactly what I want to see. I don't see exactly what, you know, some I see on the other girls and stuff. But then I had to like take myself a step back a little bit and think, okay, it's only week three. You just made it through two weeks. And this is eight weeks. So if you're having that thought, thought, excuse me, thought process like I am, step back and think you are only on week three. You are doing what you can do. You are not anybody else. You are who you are. And I um, know that's incredibly hard for all of us at some times because you look at other people and you're like, I really want that. But you know what? It's more rewarding if it's not handed to you and if you have to really, really work for it. So um, so just in going into week three, have that mindset in your head. You know, you are who you are. You're working to your best ability. What's more, can you work harder? Can you take it up a notch? Can you, like I did this week, I decided that I wanted to use eight pounds instead of five because five still felt a little, um, they felt a little light for me. So instead of just going through five and being like, eh, that's good enough, I stepped it up to eight. So also, are you, are you working hard enough? Can you work a little bit harder? Can you push yourself a little bit more? Um, just in all aspects. Can you do it through workout? Can you also push yourself a little bit harder during food? Um, you know, sugar, going back to sugar, is a, an addictive substance. It's an addictive substance. So when you're sitting there at night thinking, I really, really, really need that, <laughs> that cookie, do you need that cookie? Or is that just your, your brain playing games with you? Can you get up and make a mug cake, for instance, you know, from like a perfect fit mug cake? Can you get up and make that and give yourself a little bit of that sweet, you know, that sweetness you want without going and getting that processed cookie. You know, what are your choices? Think think healthy choices. And I want to say hip hip hooray because I have not had chocolate chips for an entire month and well almost an entire month. We're a week away, but that's huge. That was one of my big April goals was no um, chocolate chips for an entire month because <laughs> it was really, really hard for me. It was like a struggle. The struggle on chocolate chips is real. So um, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to say to you guys on this week's, um, Tone It Up review. It's been a good week. It's been a challenging week, but it's been a good week. And if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't make you stronger, right? So, okay. I'm going to stop talking with my hands now, <laughs> like a puppet show. Okay. So I love you ladies very much. And I will talk to you in the community a little bit later. Hi. Uh, happy uh, end of week two, and everyone's still going so strong. It's so inspiring. Um, I think it's amazing that we're just kicking so much booty, and it's only week two, ending week two. But anyways, I just wanted to say happy Saturday. Uh, I just wanted to check in really quickly. It's kind of a crazy weekend for me. Um, I have... A gala thing tonight, so I had an in-service earlier today, and so in between then and now I had to pick up just some staples. I'm not able to grocery shop for the full week until maybe Monday night, because I'm going to San Diego tomorrow, and it's kind of bittersweet because I'm going to see my friends from high school, and we're going to go to the Chargers, oops, Padres Dodger game. Go Padres! Um, and so I'm going to spend time with me, my fiancé, which we don't get a lot to do a lot uh, lately because of our schedules. But um, the reason it's the bitter part is because tomorrow is the SoCal Regional Meetup uh, in Orange County. And so a ton of girls are supposed to go. 
and I'm gonna miss that, which is okay. It's all right, there'll be future meetups, uh, like the LA book signing. I'm looking forward to that on May 13th. Um, and then also, I'm missing the start of my bar studio summer slim down sip and shop party at Lululemon, which is okay because it'll prevent me from not shopping. So anyways, it's Saturday at two. I'm about to cook myself a late lunch. Uh, and I'm gonna make the, the blueberry oats bars before I get ready for the gala. So maybe you guys can get ready with me. So um, I'll check in with you a little bit later. Hey ladies, so I got dressed for the gala tonight. Uh, and now I'm just, I did my makeup a little bit and now I'm just finishing up waving my hair. Um, it's like day four of my not washed hair. So the, the waves are going to stick, which is, which is awesome for, cause I feel like with Asian hair, if it's clean, nothing sticks. Curls don't stay. I can't do anything with it. So I prefer the dirty hair. Anyways, I just put the, uh, blueberry oat bars in the oven and I had a little taste test and it tasted really good so I'm excited about that. I wanted to throw in a little laundry but that isn't happening. Uh, so I just thought I'd check in while I did my hair. Uh, uh, and meals this week were pretty good. Again almost 100% lean clean and green. Uh, last night I had dinner with uh, another Tone It Up girl, Ashley. She used to be in the community, but uh, she's no longer doing Instagram, which is totally cool. But her and I went to a Mexican restaurant last night, and they put chips and salsa on the table, and we were so good. We left it alone. And then she wanted to order some roasted corn, and she requested that we had no butter on it. So it was so good. Uh, and then she ordered some mushroom corn tacos, uh, mushroom tacos on cl on corn tortillas, and then I ordered a bowl of al um meatball soup. It was so good. I felt like it was lean, pretty lean, so, uh, and it was a soup. Can't go wrong with the soup. Anyways, we were really good at a Mexican restaurant, so I'm pretty proud of us. Uh, so, um... I wanted to wish you all a really awesome week. Uh, we're on week three already. It's crazy how fast time is going. Uh, slow down. <laughs> uh, but I hope you guys have an awesome week. Keep working out really hard. Get your booty calls in. But you guys do that anyway. So you don't need me to tell you to do that. Uh, but you guys kick so much ass, as I always say. And um, thank you always for inspiring me. Um, getting my butt out of bed, especially you East Coast and Midwest girls, like you guys are killing it and I'm just waking up. So that really motivates me to get a move on. So anyways, uh, hope you guys have an awesome week and we'll check in with you later. Bye.